people who've given up their corporate careers and gone back to the Stone Age. My name's Marlies. And I'm Joy. We live in Cairns and we love the outdoor lifestyle, so the beach, the rainforest, spending time with the family. We've got two sons, Troy is four and Zach just turned one. Our inspiration behind the business is Troy. He was born with a dairy intolerance. Through Troy's health issues, we discovered health and wellness. We were so passionate about it and we wanted to share it with as many people as we possibly could. Entering into the unknown is absolutely a risk, but the outcome could be profound. Hello Sharks, my name is Jai Hobbs and with me is my wife and business partner Marlies. Together we are the founders of Paleo Cafe and we are seeking a minimum investment of $750,000 for a 10% equity share in the business. Paleo Cafe is a revolutionary health food store and cafe franchise business which is based on the most logical philosophy for optimal health, the paleo lifestyle. Put simply, paleo is just eating real food that nourishes your body and avoiding processed foods that can be harmful to your health. We discovered paleo after a traumatic experience with our first son's health. Troy was born with a dairy intolerance. He screamed in agony and starvation for the first five and a half months of his life. I have a dairy intolerance like my son. If I don't eat this way, um, I suffer from serious skin issues, digestion problems, and I also have Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disease. After discovering paleo, the health of our entire family was transformed. Troy started thriving, Jai and I lost weight, my skin and digestion problems resolved, and we had more energy. Naturally, we wanted to share the benefits of the paleo lifestyle with as many people as we could. We opened the flagship cafe in Cairns in October 2012, and we now have 12 cafes throughout Australia and the first location opening in New Zealand in the coming months. In February 2014, we released our best-selling paleo cafe lifestyle and cookbook. And this year, we signed on Pete Evans as our consultant chef and brand ambassador for the next three years. So to showcase some of our product, we made some food for you here today we'd like you to try. One of Pete's recipes, um, which is butter chicken with some cauliflower rice and some naan bread. Yeah, Bring that on. I better start with a Queenslander. Looks good. All right. Cheers, thanks. I love the rice. Cauliflower. Is that cauliflower, is it? Yeah. Yeah. You bug it. Tastes good. It is good. Yeah, you know. Marley's and Joy, good to see you. Um, just trying to work out, it's a big, big number. Um, 7.5 million valuation mm -hmm. for your company, 10% share. Mm -hmm. Walk me through the numbers. Yeah, sure. So, um, group turnover in the last 12 months was 13.5 million, um, so all of the cafes. Wow, fantastic. For head office of the franchise or business, gross revenue in the last 12 months was 875. Um, net was, was 300. That's a really good margin, right? How are your same store sales yes. year on year going? So from last year to this year, we're down. What percentage? 9%. Jai, I, I, that does disturb me hearing your same store sales yep. have gone backwards 9%. What are we blaming here? What I think we're blaming is, is partly us and our management and our direction. We tried to drill down so much on operations and efficiencies and we lost focus of the product. What are you doing for those franchisees now to get some, some growth back in their cafes? We went and got, got some help and established some people around us and brought on our, our general manager that's got that experience. A big part of what we did was Pete. He's got three, three extra chefs in his team and they are a constant source of support for our franchisees and their chefs. Right. Right, OK. Do you have much debt in the business? No debt in the business.
There's so many good things about you. I mean, I could really work with you too. You've taken your hits with a bit of humility and you've accepted that you, know, you didn't get everything right. You've talked about that in such a rational way. Yeah. I'm not mad about your business, don't get me wrong. It's a business, I could go yeah. either way. I can see your model will work. But evaluation just drives me to a corner yeah. where I say, I'd want probably 40 or 50% of your business and you're gonna tell me to get stuffed. So good luck to you. Thank but you. For those reasons, I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. So $750,000. Yes. What's that going to do to the business? What are you going to spend it on and what, what difference it's going to make? Yeah, yeah, great question. Opportunity for us is a big thing. We believe the timing in the market is now, which is why we're here. We'd like to bolster our systems in-house. So bolster our systems for franchise support, make sure that the, the staff on the ground are, are doing things the Paleo Cafe way and giving our customers a great experience. We're looking to roll out our ready-made meal production. We're currently doing between about two and a half and 3,000 ready-made meals through our group um, a week. The problem is the chefs in the kitchens can't keep up. So we, we've spoken to a, a centralised supplier that can centrally produce these things with a 35-day shelf life, brand new state-of-the-art facility. Um, so we see that as a massive opportunity in our business at the moment. Um, I, I absolutely love your branding, love your positioning. I would love to produce a range of paleo gift boxes with you and I would love to promote it throughout my customer base because I do believe in that. Uh, it's just not an investment for me. I'm out. Thank you. The biggest thing bothering me is the evaluation is huge. I think you're asking a big number. For that reason, I'm out. You're at a, a really interesting time in your life cycle. You need more infrastructure to grow, but you haven't got the, the revenue really to be able to afford that growth. The valuation is, is really high. And so with that in mind, I will make you an offer. I'm prepared to, to give you what you've asked for, which is 750,000, but I'll need 38% for it. Marlies and Jai Hobbs want $750,000 for a 10% stake of their food franchise, Paleo Cafe. Janine is keen for a piece of the paleo pie, but not at the current valuation of $7.5 million. I'm prepared to, to give you what you've asked for, which is $750,000, but I'll need 38% for it. So the value that I'm putting onto it is full value of what the market offers. I mean, you only have to look on the public listed market to see what food food businesses are going for. Yep. But it's also coming with a juggernaut of systems and processes that you will need. Oh, look, I, I think you've been low balled there. Uh, <laughs> I do. I, the things... Mate, if you think it's so cheap, then make an offer. If it needs further cash in the future, you're going to basically disenfranchise your entrepreneurs, which I'm, I'm not that keen on. Um, but I also have trouble making the, the equation work because it, it, is, it is quite a big ask. I hate Janine's offer. Probably, it is the only one on the table. I am out. Uh, all the best and uh, please try do something to get a better deal out of it. That's terrible. It's only because Steve doesn't know what's involved. I know exactly the stage you're at, and we will give you the foundation for you to, for you to take this business forward. Do you two need a moment to go out and talk about it? That'd for a be second? Great. That'd be great. Okay, go take a moment. Thank, Thank you. you. I think it's actually a fair offer. I think they're asking for too much hope in their valuation and not enough reality, and you've given them a reality check. What's your feeling? What's your gut? I'd be comfortable with um, 
seven, 750,000 for 30%. That's, I think, the maximum that we yep. should go to. They've only got two choices. They take debt and struggle and grow slower, or they go with Janine, take the equity and the smarts, and they'll get to a destination faster. Joe Malley, you came in here asking for 750,000 for 10% of your business. Janine has offered you 750,000 for 38%. Look, we've spoken about it and it's, it is a lot lower than what we came in here for. However, based on what you can bring to the table, um, we'd like to do a deal. However, we'd like to do a deal for 750 for 25%. So we have a counter offer of 750,000 for 25%. The numbers that I did actually, I didn't just pull, pull it out of the hat. The value that I bring is cash, but more importantly is experience. I bring an infrastructure of you know, hundreds of people. So I think my offer is actually very fair and I'm not moving. Don't walk away from this deal. Grow your business faster. I don't want to walk away from the deal, but there's a lot of sweat equity. There's a lot of there our is. money. There's a lot that's gone into it. It is our baby. I can help you grow this business to a you know, multi-million dollar business, and, and you know it. What I've offered is worth it. Would you agree to 35%? Yes. Oh, oh hey, well done. Well done. Yes. Congratulations. Well done. Oh, I think there's going to be tears in the tank. <laughs> Thank you. Alice, oh, well done. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, well done. Wise, you're amazing. You did a really good job. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thanks. Good luck to you. You did a great good job. Decision. Well done. Thanks. Good luck. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. Thank God they made the right decision. Oh, no, well seriously. Done. High five on that. You got a deal. How's it feel? Yeah, really good. Really good. It was it was as intense as what we thought it was going to be, um, but really happy with the result. The experience she brings and the knowledge and the resources is fantastic.